you're watching Just The Job, and if you're trying to figure out what career path to follow, then this is the place to be. And Mikey's up next, and he's on the job with Ben in a career that certainly gets you out and about and mixing with a whole lot of different people. Hey, I'm Mikey Maloney, I'm 17, and I'm year 13 at Rangatai College, and today I'm going to check out what it means to be a public health promoter. Kia ora, kia ora ana, talo falawa, mālo lele, ni sambolo vanaka, and warm Pacific greetings, and welcome to Hiha On Air on Wellington's Access Radio 783 AM. And for those listeners who haven't joined us before, Hiha stands for Healthy Eating and Healthy Action, and basically what we're trying to do is trying to get uh, Māori and Pacific communities eating better and getting more active. And uh, we've got a special guest with us today, we've got uh, Mikey Malone from Rongatai High School. Despite the fact that Mikey is not Māori or Pacific, he can actually actually play the ukulele, which is quite impressive, and um, as we all know, Pacific people love their ukuleles, and uh, if he's good enough, we might even use it in one of our radio ads, and if he's not, then uh, we'll just uh, cut it. <laughs> so take it away, Mikey. Cheers. Health promotion is about helping people make healthy lifestyle choices. For Ben, <laughs> using radio is the perfect way to reach the most people with health messages. <laughs> And giving them a few laughs will keep them listening. Nice, there we nice. go. Give them <laughs> different health promoters will do Wild different things. Up. Some will have a specific focus yeah. on, say, issues like reducing smoking or breastfeeding. So everything. And basically, it's all about trying to make sure that um, people are leading a healthy lifestyle. Sounds great. Yeah. So does that sound like a bit of you? Oh yeah, definitely. At Taking health promotion programs to various communities is part of the job description. Hold that, there, that's fine, cool, yep, and um, I'll see you in there. Today, Ben and Mikey are at Rongatai College looking at whether the healthy eating and action messages are getting through. And sometimes doing something a little crazy is the best way to break the ice. Fish up and fish. And um, it is actually pretty difficult. Come on, Mikey. Yes. Go, go. Yes. Go, go. Yes. Come on. Oh, Tony's first out of the block. Come on. Okay, what do you yes. got? Yes. What do you got, Tony? What's Tony got? Tony's got a chocolate cake. Now, is that good or is that bad? It's a sometimes food. It's a sometimes food. That's correct. They don't call me king of games for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> What do you got there? What do you got there? I've got a row of apples. A row of apples. That's fruit. Oh, that looks delicious. Yeah, that, looks, that looks awesome. So is that good for you? That's very good. That's very good for you. A major skill for a health promoter is listening to the needs of their target community okay, so and also working with them in a way that helps that community to meet its own needs. Draft, just health promoters draft. network with communities and evaluate programs, but they also plan programs from their office and then help to set them up. Ben's focus is to encourage Māori and Pacific Islanders to be physically active. And he set up a weekly breakdancing class at Wellington College. You think you're up to it? Oh, I've got what it takes, trust me. Yeah? Okay, now just one thing, we're probably going to have to change your clothes up a little bit. Um, you know, you're not looking too bad, but you know, we've got to make you looking funky fresh. Funky fresh, funky let's fresh. do it. Let's do it. Boom. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So all you do is... So kick out and step back, and then step down. And then switch feet, kick out, step back, <laughs> step down. Ben's the man, he's actually really cool, and I just love dancing under him, so you know, just learning new things as well, that sort of thing. But it's cool. a lot of movement, it's good. <laughs> it's all about engaging with the youth, um, teaching them positive aspects of hip-hop, because sometimes hip-hop gets a bit of a bad rap in the press and the media. And you know, it gets the whole body pumping, you know, arms, legs, everything, the whole set, especially the mind as well, you know, it gets the creativity moving, I think. So what we want to do is teach them how to dance, teach them how to move, and enjoy themselves and be with friends, and yeah, teach them, teach them the good aspects of it. <laughs> Hand gesture is optional. Oh. Mikey, oh, oh, he's pretty good for a beginner, I'll say that much. I was pretty unco when I started, probably more unco than him if you can believe that. Ah, uh, Mikey, he's, he's got personality, but uh... Oh, go for it, go for it, go for it! That, what's that? I think he's still got a little bit more to go before he's ready to break down some other people. Another Get Physically Active program Ben has set up is an evening exercise class for the Pacific Island community. Well, I'm getting on in life, uh, I'm 71, you know? And uh, I'm not going to sit around and wait to die. It's different, make my body light and also walk fast and far when I want to walk. You, you have to be moving, you know, but you, but as long as you exercise, I think uh, through God's blessing, I think you're a little bit 
week. Public health aims for prevention over treatment, and free checkups are just part of the service. So, how do you work with Ben? Oh, Ben's wonderful. He organises the classes, and then we come along and do the health checks every month. So he gets the word out there to get the people here, and it's, yeah, it's a really good cooperation. Sweet, yeah. good teamwork. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, and what's the best thing about your job? Definitely the variation. All the different things, getting out in the community and, you know, helping people. Um, you know, that's, that's the one main thing that I wanted to do. Mikey was really positive, um, and he got stuck in, and he, and he was really interested about the role, and I think that Mikey would make an awesome health promoter. I could see myself as a public health promoter, but I think my ukulele slash breakdancing career is going to take off, so not too sure. <laughs> Health promotion is about supporting people to increase control over the things that influence their health and well-being, often by inspiring them to make healthy choices. It helps to be self-motivated as you may be working independently with your target community to make things happen. It's also important to be able to listen to what people in the communities are saying and be able to communicate with them and with other organisations providing services to them. Any passions, interests or skills which you already have can often be integrated into how you promote health initiatives. At the end of the day, it's all about public health, so it helps if you are interested in the health and well-being of others. Well, it's going to be a hard choice for Mikey. Those dance moves could really take him places, but if not, then he's certainly got the personality to go far in a career in health promotion. So thank you to Mikey and to all those who featured in today's program. To help you even more, Career Services has loads of information and resources available to you, and here's Sarah now with some great advice. At school, it's sometimes hard to see the link between the subjects you enjoy and possible career paths. Where To is an online tool that can show you where your subjects can lead to in the world of work. So when you click on English and Media Studies, for example, it'll bring up different job ideas and the training you'll need to get into that job. There are 15 Where To wheels to choose from, so click on to careers.govt.nz today to see where your favourite subjects could take you. If you'd like more information about any of the careers you've seen here today or that we've featured throughout the entire series, then just jump on our website at tvnz.co.nz slash just the job. Good luck and I'll see you again next week. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.